Hello. Much happier now, don't worry. I'd like to share with you what I did with my weekend, because it was awesome. On Saturday I met one of my idols, and no it wasn't Brad Pitt, it wasn't David Fincher, or anyone high profile like that. It was another YouTuber. This YouTuber's name is Bing. If you haven't heard of him, check him out. He's mint. He's really good. Like... Whoa. Anyway, Mr. Bingham was doing a uh, comic signing in Lincoln, so of course I went. It's a really strange feeling when you meet one of your like, icons. I refrain from using the word hero because hero gets tossed about a lot these days. But he's certainly one of those people I admire, and certainly one of the people why I do this. This? This. Yeah. This. Meeting him was a great experience, he was really lovely and treated me like he had known me for years, which kind of put me on the spot. See, there's two things about me. I can either be really confident, or I can be the most socially awkward person in a room by myself. Like this. This is kind of awkward, isn't it? You're watching me, I'm talking to you. It's awkward. So with him treating me so nice and me not knowing what to expect, I kind of went for the latter option and I froze. I didn't know how to talk to him, I didn't know what we could relate to, and it's odd, seems though I've watched him for three years, I should know what to talk to him about. But I didn't. I walked up to the stall and I remember thinking, this is so surreal. I must say it aloud because he looked me dead in the eyes and said, yes it is. So, I'm already thrown from two seconds of being there. Great! I then reached out my hand to shake his. Not thinking that the puddle of sweat may incidentally ricochet off his hand and hit him in the face. Luckily that didn't happen. I didn't faint on his shoes either. I didn't vomit on his shoes. I didn't faint and vomit on him. I didn't do a lot of things which could have gone wrong. So that's always good. He then came round, signed my stuff, and I asked him for a favour, and that favour was this, and it was beautiful. <laughs> So yeah, I made funny faces with one of my icons, and it was great. By that time I had kind of got a bit more loosened up, but I was still shaking like a leaf. Basically what I'm trying to say is that it's a very odd experience meeting one of your icons. Like, you can watch them for any amount of years, and it's just, when they're in front of you, you don't know what to do. You know at the end of the day they're not going to remember you, they don't care who you are, they've got their own lives, I've got my own life, which is watching his life. Anyway, I just wanted to share that little experience that I had with someone semi-famous. He's a really big inspiration to me. He'll continue to be. And you should watch him, because he's awesome. So, link's in the description. If you even read the description. I don't think anyone reads the description. I read the descriptions. I need to shut up now. Another thing that really made my weekend that I need to mention is that my brother came and visited on Sunday. He basically bought me a load of food, swooped in like a Red Cross really, so good stuff. If you liked the video guys then like it, subscribe, share it about, or not, don't have to, be nice to, but do what you think's right, but do it. Thanks very much guys, I'll see you next time. Literally the epitome wow. of sex right here. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs>